Hello everyone, it's Lauren with Bold Notion Quilting and we are trying out a ruler for feathers for free motion quilting. It's got three different sizes here and um, it didn't come with any directions on how to use it so we're going to try to figure this out. So it's got this little knob at the base. It's got a little line etched at the top which you probably can't see but we're going to sink our needle where we want our feathers to end. And we're gonna ride along this and use it as our spine. I'm assuming that's what this is there for. Now, what you could do is just follow that line all the way back down, or you could have started at the top and finished at the bottom. That probably would have been smarter. And now you know that. So maybe let's try doing a fancier spine. We'll just offset it a little bit. This is a hologram thread I'm trying out. And I've never used it before. And you can see it contrasts pretty well. Um, it's interesting because the way that the thread is made it looks like linguine, like it's flat and rectangular. So I'm curious to see how this quilts out. Now we're gonna use the ruler and we're gonna quilt the left side um, of the feathers. And this little hole up here is just to kind of help you hold when you need to um, in various places. So we're going to start this feather, probably not at that angle. Let's start it here. Okay, and we've done our first feather, and what we're gonna do is stay in these big ones until we want to use some small ones, and that's something you kinda have to get used to as you eyeball. Keeping in mind that like, I can see the spine a little bit on the side um, of my ruler, but your needle is gonna be a quarter of an inch away from the edge of your ruler, so as long as you stay in that area, you're fine. So how do we wanna do this next one? So you just gotta play around with it a little bit and see how you like the way it looks. We'll backtrack a little like a bump back feather. And let's see about, see how I'm kind of twisting the ruler to see where it's gonna hit the line, keeping in mind your needle is gonna be a quarter of an inch away from the ruler. But you can use these to really tuck in your feathers. Stop. And if you wanted to, you could always travel up your spine a little bit to get maybe a bigger feather in there. Okay, but since we're going in a curve, we will let this bad boy go. Until it touches the previous feather backtrack and I don't have any grips on this. This would do much better if I had some grips. All right, so we're gonna continue this feather. Now I've got my red snappers on and I would probably start using a smaller feather till I got to the top, but I can't use one right, right where I'm at. So we're just going to use what we can. So this metallic thread is actually stitching quite nicely. Um, you do, however, I can't do any of them up there because of my red snappers, um, which I normally have those out of the way when I'm quilting, but I just had an extra piece of fabric and I wanted to try this ruler. But um, I did notice that if you go a little too fast, the metallic thread snaps, but this is the most success I've ever had with the metallic thread. So I'm gonna keep playing with it till I figure it out. All right, this is looking funky, but it's just because of my red snappers. So we'll do the last one and then we'll go to the other side. 
All right, so I've tacked off my threads on the bottom and we're gonna start the other side now. You notice the ruler is tilted to the left. Now we're going to flip it over to the right. Okay, and we're gonna do our next feather. We got so close to that line, keep in mind, even though my ruler went about a quarter of an inch past the line, it wasn't gonna hit it. So we're just gonna line up that spine, ride the top until we touch, bounce it back. Now I do feel like I have more control because my left hand is my holding hand and my right hand is my doing hand. So I'm gonna, Get a nice plump round feather in here. I've only been using this uh, ruler just a little bit. I'm already getting a good feel for how to manipulate it. I'll get better as I go. I'm gonna come up, cause on the outside it can be a little difficult, right? Because we gotta make our feathers a bit bigger. And let's see about stacking some of these bad boys. Let's try a smaller one. Put a bigger one on top of it. We're just playing around now to see what it would look like. Again, there were no directions on how to use these, so I'm just kind of figuring it out and sharing that with you. So this is the Fina Perks Rose Ruler. And um, it's meant to quilt feathers. And if I'm talking and quilting, they're not turning out as good. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun to kind of figure out. And again, my red snappers are in the way, so we'll see if a smaller feather can do the job for us. something. Till we get to the top. And so you've noticed that you can do this with all the feathers being the same size or you can layer them like I have until you finish. So let's see what that looks like. Is what that looks like. So you can do them all on one side and just kind of tilt the ruler like we did, right, to get those different feathers to fit in, okay? And you can do them all on the other side and you can change up the size and shape of the feather. Now when we went from big to small, big to small, that gave us a really nice looking feather. So that's a really great way to use this tool. And the more you use it, the better you'll get at it. Um, and then keep in mind, you can also utilize this outside edge because it's got this little bump that will hit your uh, ruler foot so that it stops so that you can create the perfect feather spine. So thanks for watching as we kind of figured out how to use this uh, rose feather ruler. I'm gonna play with it a little bit. I have a sneaking suspicion that this ruler is going to be awesome for use in feathered wreaths as well as um, some cool feather border motifs. So look for more videos coming out with the different kind of rulers that we have in the shop. This again is the medium rose ruler. You can find it on boldnotionquilting.com. Go to products and give it a whirl. And if you have this ruler, feel free to share with us some of the photos of the stuff that you've created with it. Thanks so much for joining. Take care and happy quilting.